campus. Six News, the only station to tell you about the national protest organized by a group called Students for Concealed Carry on campus. Our San Carrillo spoke with members of the group about why they feel it's important to have concealed handguns on college campuses. Armed with a backpack and an empty holster, student Cody Smiley is working to get the word out. I'm passing out flyers. About why the group Students for Concealed Carry on campus are strapping up this week. We're, we're basically saying that we want the right of all people that are over the age of 21 that already have a concealed hanging license to be allowed to carry in class so that tragedies like Virginia Tech might be averted in the future. Cameron Corley, who organized the local protest, says the goal is for others on campus to see the empty holsters. And say, hey, there's not a police officer around. You know, if something were to happen, I'm able to carry a gun by Texas law, but I'm not able to carry here. You and I are defenseless. And while University Police Chief Alan Gutierrez, who is armed, doesn't have a problem with the protest, he is concerned. Anytime you see a, a holster, that always indicates that there's probably a weapon somewhere close by. So yeah, it, it can be scary. While these empty holsters may be scary to some, most of the students we talk to here on campus say they don't think it's a good idea for students or staff to carry concealed weapons on campus even if they're licensed to do so. No, I don't think it's a good idea. There's going to be arguments for it and arguments against it. But that isn't stopping any students from protesting against gun-free zones at their school. Roxanne Carrillo, CARE-IS, 6 News. The students will wear empty holsters until Friday when the pro